So many reps. Oh yeah, she knows what she's she's understanding it now. You can see it pretty quickly. I love that you're the first one to introduce e-collar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is a nice way to do it. There's a lot going on here. It looks simple, it looks <laughs> it looks like you're not doing much, but there is there's a lot going on. She's actually following my direction, but I'm not begging for it. She's learning the mechanics of uh, the stem and how to turn it off by, by coming to me, right? And staying. So there's no stem on it now, but if she just walks away without my release, I will correct with the stem, beat, and I'll continue to hold the stem like this until she gets back to me. And I'll dial up to find the motivation, right? There's, there's the motivation right there. You see it. And then I dial down, but I'm still holding it on, and it turns off when she gets to me. So it's very clear. Good. But we'll have it stay eventually. Here is good. If you say it looks easy, go ahead and try it at home. Yeah, but it see, does look easy. See what it looks like at home with your dog. This looks smooth, right? Yeah. Good. But, but it's, <laughs> yeah. There's a reason Julie's not doing day one dogs. <laughs> yes. That's nice. Good. Good girl. It's just a great. Listen, we're doing two things at once, so probably even more than that, but. Even more than that, because we're teaching the recall, and I also get to stay. But then it's also relationship-based, right? Over here's where everything's nice and comfortable, right? There's no expectation, there's no correction for doing the wrong thing, you're comfortable. As soon as I release you, you are allowed in the environment again, but you're gonna bump into what we call boundaries if you do certain wrong things. There'll be corrections and, and direction now, which is a new concept within our relationship to a human, right? Where they're gonna be able to correct and then direct. Once we can do that, which we can now, we can actually teach her what not to do and what to do, which is going to make her uh, the best version of herself. Okay, this is all very good. See how she sniffed what she stayed with me? That was really yes. conscious effort there. Good. So I, when I say good night pet her, it's locking it in that I like that for next time. Good. It's called a marker, right? Good job. I like what you just did there. I like the choice versus walking away. Now, I'm going to show her when she can uh, actually walk away is when I release her. Pet Break. Yeah, Break. good girl yeah. pedal. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> this is part of the relationship building. I'm showing her how proud I am that she uh, followed my direction. She was, she was, you know, follower, right? Leader. We're gonna, I'm sure we're gonna get to a point, which we always do with training, where she's gonna be like, I don't wanna listen right now, right? But right now, what I'm seeing is, um, good, good. See, look, she says, oh, you like that. So she's, it's a new relationship, so she's saying, so she's, she's kind of open to learn. Once she realized I was different, which she did, as soon as I started to talk to her the way I was talking to her, her mind opened up and said, let me take in some information about him. He's now relevant. And so now she's picking up what he likes and what he doesn't like within the session. She'll remember this next session and we can build upon it. Okay. But we still got more to do, because we gotta see, they say you're friendly with dogs. I hope that is the case, because that would make this journey much easier. Her. I will test that right now. 
with our two sparkles and should we start with sparkles and Izzy? Should we start with Reagan's? Um, start with sparkles and Izzy. Okay. But just in case she views sparkles as a squirrel. Yes. Hold the leash or have her own tie back. Right. And have my little thing there. Give me a pedal. Thank you. 
That's a lot of pressure to put on a dog to have three dogs. I don't know how many dogs you snap at that. That, that, she, that she doesn't know how to sniff her. She's been really good with the pack. She let them surround her and sniff her. She didn't throw any shade at them. She didn't try to be dominant at all with her over here. That's very, very good. It goes a long way. Riggins feels comfortable. He would never yeah. do that. Oh, he would never lay down if a dog felt, if he felt threatened. No. Not at all. So she, that's a really, really, really good sign. The fact that she's drinking and all of this, this is good. She's fitting right in. Let's try to get back inside. Title come. Pressure's on. Dialing up. There's the motivation, dialing down. Here's the answer, so we know she knows what to do. That's a common signal to try to get out of it, the sniffing. I dial up through that. Dialing up, dialing up right there. You see it? I'm gonna hold there until she walks towards me, then I'm gonna dial down significantly. But I will keep holding until she gets to me. Come on, honey. Wow. She uh she needs to understand that we have control of her even off a leash outside. Yeah. That's, definitely that's crazy to her brain because she's four. Her brain does not. It's like this is she's like, I don't listen. Yeah. That happens to all of the older ones, especially. An example of how things, when you need it, like you said this before, it's like we practice control because we're going to need it in the real world. And then those times that you need it and you don't got it, that's when the bad things happen. The, you know, the things that are like, milestones in your life like tragic things happen dogs get hit by cars dogs well her situation's rare i don't think i've ever i uh, had trained a dog that been attacked by two coyotes but and lived to tell about it simply because when we said don't do that she did it anyway okay plug in the context that's what's going on out there dogs are choosing to not listen good girl even the nice ones even the sweet ones good oh that's nice that's a, that's wow Break. Yeah, girly. Oh my gosh. 